Hey there everyone, Redneck Brian here, uh, remember this engine. This is the little, I believe to be three or four horsepower that was originally on my uh, Toro. I'll show you the Toro here for a second. Here it is. Um, this thing is actually a very ama is amazing, amazing little engine on here. Um, if you rem remember, uh, I had this, this was originally attached to that water pump right down there so I uh, took it off there and I attached it to this with the same block and heck it's it started up uh, in the first pull I used its original carburetor never cleaned it out never did nothing to the carburetor and started up on the first pull um, I'm gonna cold start that it hasn't been running in almost a month maybe a little over a month now it normally starts on one to two pulls this here is the water pump. It is not running. Um, so you can see it has the here. Let me try to block the light. The carburetor that was originally on the engine I was going to use for my generator, but it has so, such tight compression. I'll show you. Right there, the compression stroke is so tight, I can barely get it to turn over. Um, and then you have to drill it. So let's get back. Now I'll get off topic. Get back to what I'm working on. I want to quickly take the head off this little engine. It is a move my bag down there. Tools. It is a split block engine, but I wanted to take the top half off. And uh, it does have a bit of compression, but not very much. So I just want to see what the condition is on the inside and see if it's rebuildable. At least if I have a good rebuildable core here. I don't think that need, needed to come off, but it's off anyways. Set that, uh, maybe it did, kind of long. Move my ratchet, kind of long. I did loosen up all of these already, because uh, they were, they were kind of tight, none broke, luckily. So, I stuck a spark plug in this a while ago, just so no dirt would get down into the cylinder keep the cylinder clean so let's just get this off and I'm just going to take a quick peek at the, at the cylinder this has been bugging me so that's why I decided to do it also a few people have asked me oh, I should just take the head off and see if it's a stuck valve or what's wrong with it but it seems like it has a bit of compression but not very much at all um, we're not going to take the bottom end off right now that will be a separate video we're just going to take the top end off. Don't want to lose these little washers. I imagine this thing's never been opened. I don't know though. It's, it's so old. I really do not know. And the person I got it from was second hands, basically. And this one. This one's the tightest one in here. But. Since I broke it free of the ratchet, then use air tools, didn't want to damage it. And bolts out. These are halves, half inches, which aren't too bad. Imagine this head not. Oh, oh, the head is going to come off right away. I thought the head might be stuck, but it's not, amazingly. Drop the washer. Thought I did, but there's a washer right there. No, there was a washer sitting on this engine here. Don't know what bolt it was from. Hmm. Who knows? Extra one now. Uh, like I was saying, I thought this head would be stuck. But it's not, surprisingly. I don't think it's ever been off before. Just by the look of the dirt and stuff. Okay, let's move the spark plug wire. Also, the spark plug wire is very brittle. Inspection plate wants to come off first. That has all the information of the engine. There's that nest, whatever it is. I don't know. Let me know. I think it's a hornet nest or something. And there's a the cylinder. It does move. Yeah, it is. It is moving. Head gasket is stuck to the cylinder. There's some crud on top of that piston, so. I guess it was a good idea. I did, uh, I did strip this down, 
Actually looks like sawdust. This was actually sitting in an uh, auto shop that was next to a woodworking shop for quite a long time. I don't know really how long. I don't even know if this thing has oil in it. Never been checked. I don't have. I don't think I have the size on me. Yeah, I actually do. Let's just see if this thing has any oil in it. Don't even know. They're gonna do this one-handed. Nope, that's the camera. Right. It is a half-inch bolt. I think that's the oil bolt. Actually, no, it's not. Here's the. No, I can't get that off. I thought the, uh, this bolt here was for the oil cap, but it's not. That's what's holding the block together. Two half-inch bolts on each side. But let me blow this off. Other than crud, cylinder wall, let me turn the light, get the light, another light over here. Cylinder wall looks surprisingly good, it's not scored. No scoring. Other than this crud right on top of the piston, which We'll probably clean off. I think we're rebuildable here. The intake valve looks a lot worse than the exhaust valve. The intake one is on the on the right there. It's it's dirty and the exhaust valve is clean. They both are moving. See, I thought this thing was um was blown or had a stuck valve, but. As you can see, actually it's working all right. And whenever I, just before I took the head off, the spark plug in there, you could feel a little bit of compression. Not there's not much compression on it, so it probably is rebuildable. I think it could be rebuildable. Not bad. If I want to put that put that Toro back to stock, rebuild this. Yeah. Sadly, I think I lost the bolt that goes in the end of the crankshaft. It's around here somewhere. I think it could be sitting on top of this table somewhere. This is the table I used to. I used this table to strip it, so I don't know. So that's actually not too bad. I got a couple minutes left on the video here. Let's quickly see if this Toro will start. Open up the second door. It's cold. It's really cold. Let me grab a muffler. I did see one around here. Unless I put it on something else already. Which I think I did. Yeah. Actually. No, I thought I put it on this engine here. Oh, shoot. No, I think it's empty anyways. My squeezy bottle of gas fell. Let's just quickly see if I can see a muffler. No, that one's too big. Yeah. I'll have one. I'll have an extra. Okay, so it's choked. Um, nothing's hooked up on here still. I haven't got around to doing it. I gotta do this sometime soon. Wind her up. It's got gas, it's got oil. Fired. Always fires on the first pull of this guy. Like, even when I had it sitting outside in the rain with this new engine on here, it always fired up. Nah. May not go. Hold up the choke a bit. It's not necessarily a cold start. Like, it smelled exhaust, so if it wants to go. Nah. It's not gonna go, I don't think. Uh try it once more. Choke fully on. Let's see, I got nine I'm at nine forty two now. One more pull I'll get. It. 
like I said, this thing normally fires up on the second pull, but it's been sitting for so long. Also, it has no throttle. Put my camera down for a minute. <clears throat> this once more because that was a little bit better that time they'll work the throttle a little bit a little bit there it wants to go nah it's, it just won't stay running it needs the throttle hooked up so that concludes this video. Uh, close up the store again. I'm gonna get that throttle hooked up. So this has been Redneck Brian signing off. Uh, please comment, subscribe. Thank you. See you guys later. Bye.